All right, so I'm trying to understand what the equation equals mc squared means in conceptual terms, right? So the most confusing part was the squaring of the speed of light. Doesn't really make any sense, Einstein. I don't get it. Speed of light is like a descriptor of a physical speed limit in the universe. How does it make sense to you to go ahead and square some concept that's like a principle of the universe, right? Yeah, I get that it's a number, that you describe it with a number, but that number actually just corresponds to the particle, the speed of the particle. What about the wave, right? What about the wave that is light, right? It's a particle and a wave, right? So what happens when you square a waveform, right? That is representative of some weird universal cosmic speed limit or universal cosmic something or other, right? We don't know what a speed limit is for light or something like that, but whatever it is, we swear it, right? That's what Einstein told us, right? So now this is what we're trying to figure out. So now we're going to start manipulating this, think about how art and consciousness relate to these ideas, and see where we land up, or we land, where we end up, or where we land, right? So, all right, let's get into it here. So now we can basically say, we've defined basically art as energy, right? Encoding energy into the environment uh, in some way, um, and that, ah, whatever, we don't even have to do that, right? Energy, is, so E equals MC squared, right? That's the, that's the situation, right? So energy, meaning it's art, right? Matter is resources, both physical and conceptual, right? And C squared, right? So that's strange. Uh, C squared, what does it mean to square C, right? So if C is describing the speed limit of light, right? Here's a light wave, right? A wave rather than a particle. So this light, you know, and then we have two of them, right? This is unit, this is one unit and two units, right? They're both one speed limit of light, whatever. What does it mean to square it, right? It means to multiply by itself. It means to overlay and multiply, which is a, a interference pattern. Okay, so energy, so now let's think about that, right? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Shies, where did I just put it, man? Ugh. Oh, I saw, oh, okay, I wrote some down here. Art equals MC, okay, art equals MC squared, because art equals energy, right? And then art equals matter times light times light, and light times light equals sense-making, because that's a difference pattern. You know, when you have two different patterns and you divide by time, meaning you look over time, and you multiply that times matter, then you arrive at energy, okay? So this is telling us how to encode energy in the environment and how to change energy in the environment. So if we have E, okay, let's try to write this, equals mc squared. Now, we keep E in there. E is interchangeable for art, basically, so whatever. Um, resources, both physical and mental. Here's the difference between Einstein's theory. Resources are mental and physical. Energy can be both mental energy and physical energy, right? So resources meaning... Cognitive concentration, okay, so this is either concentration or um, ma mana, right? So physical resources, actual like wood, stuff like that, right? That's matter, right? That's the matter we're used to, this kind of physical matter. But now we're thinking of matter as a uh, resource. We're thinking of resources in cognitive terms, right? Like it takes, it's like money, right? You can spend certain attentions on certain things, right? Resources, oh, this is the times times light times light, right? So light times light, which is this pattern over here, right? And so now when we have light times light, what do you get? You get an interference pattern over time. So that's a sense-making. So interference over time, so light times light equals some interference and then it's, you know, over time that's happening, right? So now I'm going to find actually interference over time as sense-making, right? Because look, this is what happens, right? So it's like this, you know. But this curve is not just movement on its own. There's actually a corollary curve here, right? So there's some other process happening in the environment that's actually affecting how this curve is going. So when you, when you bring these two together, right, they couple and coordinate into an actual final thing, right? Through time, they kind of interact and kind of give rise to this, right? So this is what we see as energy, you know, or as part of energy. When This is E divided by M, because this is now light times light, right? Uh, and it's the combined waveform of two, apparently, you know, according to Einstein, we take two uh, speed of light waveforms, combine them together, 
we get this master waveform, which actually equals energy divided by resources. Sense making equals the amount of energy you take divided by the amount of resources you've used. Okay, interesting. Or we can define how do, how do you encode energy into the environment? How do you encode energy? Well, you take some resources and you multiply it by sense making. You make sense of those resources and it takes energy. Right? It takes energy. Or you encode energy. When you you know you take a resource, this this is implicitly already having some amount of energy in it, right? And then this phase shifts that energy to a new stage, right? This is the modulator. All right, so it's phase shifting. You know, when you combine these two things, there's a new emergent thing, right? It combines and emerges as this energy, pure form of energy. So when you take resources and add sense making to it, it just gives energy. Or if you've got energy, you can encode it into an environment using resources and making sense of it, right? Or you can extract, you know, you can make sense by taking the energy that's there, dividing it by the resources you see to try to make sense of it, right? Meaning, what type of effect do I see? No, the resources are the effect. So then what type of energy would have been you know, required for the resource to get in the state or something like that? Um, something like that, whatever. The key is that energy equals resources matter times sense making, right? And energy being art in this case. So art equals resources times sense making or energy equals resources times sense making. So this is going to be important in figuring out how the physics of this stuff works. I'm going to send it to Yash so he uh, can think about it.